Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. This is another entry in the Collaborative ML Agents Devlog series that I've been working on. Uh, this actually is, there's been quite a gap since the last one, not for you as the YouTube watcher, but for me as the recorder. I thought I was making great progress and then I started making no progress for a long time. And Kayla just insisted that I get on here and talk about it because this has been a real struggle as I've been working through it. And she wanted me to share my struggle with you, the community. So here we are. So I'm going to talk about that. All right. So you've seen this project before in the previous devlog videos. Not much has changed. Uh, I did expand the walls so that it wasn't possible to like sneak around the outside, which I actually did catch them doing at one point. Um, so now they're forced to go through and Otherwise, the only other thing I think I turned off the button, uh, like moving and stuff just to rule out some issues. So here's the thing that's been driving me crazy. I wanted to switch from using cubes to using capsules. Usually with video game characters, you make capsule colliders for them and a capsule, let me just, well, actually I'll just drop one into the scene here. So we'll create a capsule just so that we, you know, we're all on the same page here. So something like this, this is a very typical video game character collider. Um, and so the benefit of this is if there's like a step or a ramp, it's much smoother for it to go over that than if you have a cube, which would kind of trip over any sort of step. Um, and going up a ramp might not make a lot of sense with, with a cube collider either. So the, the reasoning behind this was that I thought it would be really cool to have a base character that worked with ML agents that you could just drop into like a, some sort of video game scenario, whether it's like a first person shooter or a uh, platformer or something like that, just to have a base character. And I even 3D modeled a little cute little character, but I'm not going to reveal that yet. Um, I just wanted to talk about this today. So that's what I was trying to get working. And even though I changed literally nothing between the cube uh, and the capsule, literally all I did was change it from, let me just show, uh, let me hide this. Mm, sorry, the, the red thing is just for me to visualize where the front of the agent is. Uh, so I switched from a cube, which you can see it's kind of uh, a little bit dimmer there because it's turned off to a capsule that's about the same size. You can see it from the side. It's 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 got the same dimensions in this direction. It's just a little taller, so that shouldn't have any impact. Um, and that didn't work. Uh, so I started doing a lot of experiments because this to me is the type of problem that I can't just say, well, I'll just use cubes. Uh, I, I needed to know why it wasn't working. So I did so many experiments trying to get this to work. So I made this little blender scene just to uh, illustrate some of the things I tried. So in green are uh, collider combos that I tried that worked and red are some that did not work. So obviously the cube worked, that worked fine. And so my thought was, um, well, maybe it's sliding along the floor differently because it has a, uh, you know, it's got this single point of contact with the floor and this one has a big contact with the floor. So I thought maybe that was the issue. Uh, maybe there was something to do with friction or, you know, the contact with the floor was causing it to behave slightly differently. So I tried... I, th I don't remember which order I tried all these things, so forgive me for that, but I tried this one, which is basically the same capsule, same cube, except the cube is slightly lifted off the ground so that essentially the foot of this thing is a capsule, but the rest of it is a cube. Um, and that worked. So I feel like, or at least at the time, it felt like I had ruled out the the likelihood that it was just this single point of contact being the issue. Uh, because if so, then this wouldn't really work. So there are, I was thinking, okay, well, all right. So it's not, it's not, it doesn't necessarily need the cube to uh, succeed, or rather, it doesn't need the cube on the floor to succeed. But maybe the cube helps it get through the door. 
Like if you think about this, if this cube gets stuck in the door when it's closing, it can still slide through because it's already got the majority of its or the entirety of its width through the door. Um, but if you have a cylinder and it gets caught with the door closing, then it should be kind of squished out because it's, you know, it's, it's width is not entirely through yet. And you can kind of see here, like how they kind of sneak through, um, this, this, these aren't trained to high accuracy. You can see that they're kind of sliding all over the place. Um, that was another thing, by the way, that I tried was maybe they weren't moving fast enough or whatever. So I, I tried lots of different speeds and things. And the slower they went, the less likely they were to train too, even as cubes, by the way. So that's another issue I have to figure out. Um, but anyway, back to back to this. So I thought maybe if it needs to have its entire body through uh, to get to slide through, then a cylinder in theory should not work. So I tried a cylinder. Well, that did work. So that threw me off again. So this one has flat bottom and it has a rounded edge here. Uh, and that seemed to work. So it didn't seem to be that. Now, the one thing I'll say is I don't remember how many times I tried the cylinder. Maybe I can check my uh, tensor board here and see. I kind of started naming them based on what I was testing. So let me see if I can find the cylinder. Okay, so I did two runs in a row with the cylinder, and it looks like maybe one of them was a no good run. Anyway, all right, so I had one run that was with the cylinder. That seemed to work. So I, I guess I didn't test this multiple times in a row to make sure it was consistent. Maybe it was just a fluke that it got it. But anyway, um, another test I did was a sphere. The sphere didn't work. I did a test with a very small foot, basically. So it wouldn't topple over because it was limited in how it could rotate. But in theory, it should be a flat bottom, kind of like the cube, and have the capsule, but it didn't have very much surface area and that didn't work either. So you're seeing all these combinations that I tried and each one of these took at least like an hour to test. Maybe I, I think I left most of them to run for an hour and didn't get any results for the red ones. Um, and so could I have left them for longer and seen if they would run? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but I think for the capsule ones, I, I did some long runs and they just refused to work. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. There's so many things I tried with this. Uh, I tried making bigger buttons, like a four meter by four meter button. That actually worked great, but I think that's because they were able to slide through this without any issues because um, they could just step on the button here and get through before the door closed. One interesting thing sort of related to that was I made the door close much faster. And that actually did train pretty well. That one, let me see, uh, looks like this. So um, I will admit I changed more than one thing in that run. I also tried doing a deeper neural network of uh, 128 neurons and three layers instead of two of 512. And, but then I tested it with the, the door speed uh, back to the original speed, and it went back down to the, what you're seeing in the screen one. So I don't think it's the, I think the door speed actually does have quite a bit of influence there. So I need to do more experimentation there. But that doesn't really explain why they're not uh, getting through or they're not learning with a slow door. So the best thing I can come up with at this point is that there's something wrong with the actual training itself, um, that perhaps my rewards aren't good enough or perhaps this challenge is in need of some better hyperparameters or something, so I might need to tweak more around there. Um, I did some experimentation with demonstration learning, and that seemed to speed up the cubes, but I don't recall if I tried that with the cylinder or with the uh, capsules yet. So anyway, the the point of this update was really just to give you a glimpse into my world as I'm trying desperately to figure out why my agents aren't training and to remind you that when you see one of my projects, at least, I assume everybody else who is sharing machine learning is the exact same way, that 
it doesn't come out fully formed the first time you try or even the you know 50th time you try uh it takes lots of experimentation and tweaking and uh you know frustration uh, so my recommendation is just to stay persistent and don't feel too overwhelmed if you can't get something to work my other piece of advice is don't try and choose a really challenging problem to solve if you have a deadline <laughs> So if you're doing this for a school project, uh, you know, on top of saving your work as you go, and if you ever get something that works pretty well, you know, put it on GitHub, you know, you, you can keep it private, you don't have to make it public, but at least like keep version history of what worked and what didn't work so that you don't end up losing all your work, but also don't set a challenge that's so hard that you can't get done for your final project or something like that. Um, Otherwise, you know, if you have any suggestions for what might be causing this weird issue with the capsules, I am, I'd love to hear it. That would be super helpful. Uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with this and hopefully I'll figure something out because I think it would be really cool to have uh, capsules working for this. And I will mention uh, that I tested out capsules in one of the examples, the uh, pyramids example. And it, so here's the original training for pyramids. Let me just isolate that. So that's if I just ran it just as is in the project. And here's with switching it out with a capsule. So both of these runs in a row seem to work. Not quite exactly the same, but uh, they still worked. So there's nothing, at least that I can tell, that's like a, a no-go for capsules working in ML agents. I think it's I think it should work. Uh, I think it's just something is off about this environment that needs to be figured out. And uh, then once I get that figured out, hopefully I can share this environment and uh, share a tutorial of how it all works. So thank you so much for sticking with me as I sort of rambled and babbled about this. Uh, and as I'm not making actual tangible progress here, aside from ruling out what doesn't work, uh, and hopefully I'll have something cool to show with you soon. Thanks so much for watching.